Okay, we're both in the air. 300 feet, going about 25 miles an hour. Temperature is just right. Pretty good lift out here, about 422 feet, about a mile and a third from the runway. Boy, the pumpkins are getting big and orange. I know you can't see them out there on this camera, but they are really coming on. Doing a little bit of oscillating up here. I grabbed the torque line and pulled it going down now. Got up over the main area. Boy, those pumpkins are cool. I don't know if you can see them on this camera or not, but a uh, bunch of pumpkins in the field straight ahead. You can see lines of, of pumpkins. There are some little pretty good ones. There's a couple of bounces down here. Get up here a little bit, a little bumpy. David just cruising by. Two guys on drags out here in the month of September, just cruising in Ohio. David put a new carb and a starter on his trike. And uh, the, yeah, he got a pretty good deal on that starter. It's a full starter, but he ordered it from uh, Amazon off of a lawnmower uh, a replacement. And uh, they were supposed to have it to him overnight on Prime, and it didn't get there for a few days later, so they didn't uh, charge him, so he went ahead and bought him another one. So he got two up. Uh, so he got two two full starters for uh, 25 bucks. Uh, you're not going to get that in uh, PPG world normally. I know my pull starter was 150. And he put a new carburetor. He said that thing runs like a gym. So he's pretty happy with it now. Put him a five gallon tank on it. And uh, and then he uh, redesigned his trike, opened up the front end of it. He could get in and out of it really easy. I always have buzzards over by these pig and chicken stalls. Because these little baby chickens or baby pigs die, and they just toss them out there. And, the buzzards are hanging around just for those. How many of you guys used to go out when you were younger or, or still go out and steal pumpkins or watermelons from fields? Come on, that's up. I know you can see the pumpkins now. I'm down here about 57 feet above. Here below me here by this, this dip. Probably get a lift of wind coming up, up in here. We'll see what happens. We'll do some bridge soaring. Yeah, we're just cruising around about 100 feet off the ground. Two hundred seventeen feet, twenty four miles an hour, about eight miles or about five point eight miles from the LZ. Water looks pretty clear down there in the river. Not muddy, haven't had much rain in a while. Four hundred and fifty feet. Gain a little bit of altitude here, get over these trees. Doing about 33 miles an hour. 
start to turn with the wind. 35, 600 feet, 36 miles an hour, about 5.3 away from the runway. Pretty hazy out here. There's about 85 on the ground. Some say, and that's just some, I don't know how many is some, but there are people that say this is one of the prettiest places to fly. It is beautiful out here. Been flying for about 32 minutes. 31 miles an hour. And if I squint real hard, I can see the uh, LZ about 3.3 miles away. Just uh, the sun is pretty bright. 425 feet. 33, trim to 6. Heading uh, almost south, southwest. Not seeing too many deer yet, or at least today. I've seen a lot, but not today. Probably here pretty soon, another half hour they'll be coming out. Now we got an airplane coming out on the runway. So we'll let him take off, and then uh, I think we'll go ahead and land.